Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be changing out the grommet set of the banana, the Babalot banana, pure arrow, regular. Okay, I'm going to change out the grommet sets today for you. So hang okay. tight. So what you need today, if you're going to try this to do it yourself, you have to get the right grommet set. So it has to be that one, okay? I know it's so confusing out there. There's so many versions of it. Uh, there's the previous uh, fluorescent yellow version, uh, and that's probably not gonna fit on this one. And then the previous Aero Pros, definitely not gonna fit on this one. So they just wanna make it complicated for you so that you can't use old versions of these head guards um, you know just like an apple you know they're always changing the damn power cord or the adapters or the headphones just so you can't use the old stuff same thing with tennis all right so we have to always make sure we have the right grommet set okay now i've laid out the grommet set already here I've double checked to make sure it works, okay? That, Because sometimes they'll screw it up and put the wrong grommet set in the package too. And that's happened to me before. It, I was racking my brain like for hours trying to like, why isn't this fitting? So somebody actually put two of the, two of the same sides on there for me. Because on one of the Babolat rackets, they, the two sides were not um, the same one had one more uh, grommet hole than the other so they were both the same and I'm like why is there an extra hole here and this doesn't fit in there well I had two of the same side <laughs> I was short on one side so just make sure all of the pieces are right for your grommet set okay so I have the arrow here and what I like to do before I do anything is I like to cut all the the grommets that I think are going to be problemsome to me because because I I'm going to be pulling right so anything fat like that like that like those Thai ones I'm going to be snipping those hopefully you have a nice cutter like this this is as flat as I can buy in terms of cutters go see nice and flat there so anything that was like a tie hole or a flared out hole we're gonna cut that that one will get out too and then definitely on the top are there gonna be problem holes here yeah that one right there see it's flared out right there yeah, it's gonna be a hard time for you to get that thing out You're just trimming the flares so that you can get them out like that one will probably give me a problem go back to that those are good this one will give me a problem see it's flared out right there that one okay so the next thing i do is i go to where the head guard right is like right here like this is one piece and this is another piece so I go to right here because I may sometimes just need to change out the head guard and if I do that then it's pretty easy I just do this right and then I rip this out now so I stick it into the and then I just pry right I'll get that later. I didn't cut enough. Yeah. Shoot. That's weird. Hmm. This one's not coming out that easily. It usually just comes out like that. If I go to the other side, 
do the same thing. I pry it out. I kind of already started without you. Sorry. cut some more see those are flared cut 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 I have these now Just push these back in. Cut. Cut. Now I can pop them out that way. Okay, so those are gone, right? Next are these. See, when I cut the things, they should just come out like that. Okay, so. Take the new one, you start on the bottom. So the first hole is usually the longest, right? So you kind of just try to jimmy it so that it goes through just like that. I'll show you again. Well, I'll show you on the other side. So <clears throat> what I like to do is go sideways now and start doing as much as I can by hand. Um, just, but don't force it. Make sure it wants to go in first. The last thing you want to do is jack up that grommet. Okay. So just kind of, just kind of guide it into the hole. Okay. Like just guide it into the hole. Just like that. See, I'm just, right? I know the hole is going to go that way, so I'm just like just guiding it in, guiding it in. Okay. All right. So after the first few, it gets easier. Okay. So I'm that's all I'm going to do right now on this side. I'm going to take the other side now <coughs> and do the same thing. So, right, the longest one goes straight in like this, right, on the bottom. And I just like to jimmy, jimmy, jimmy. Maybe that one won't go in as easily, but I just need to jimmy it so it kind of goes in. There. You'll feel it. You'll feel it go right in. Don't force it in there, like I said, okay? So now I'm going to slowly tilt it to this side and have it lay on the table and slowly just kind of there. See it? It snapped in. Just guide it in. Don't force it in. So line up the holes, line up the holes, guide it in. Okay. Guide it in. So even though that's not fully in, kind of start working on the next one, right? And then go back to it, right? Like that, okay? So now we're all kind of lined up. They should all kind of just go right in, okay? All right, so I'm leaving it just like that for now while I get my head guard ready. So I'm lining it up with the holes, you see? So I know that three is gonna come down here. See the holes line up right there, all right? So what am I looking for? I'm looking for two and two, so a set of two. So it's gotta be this piece or this piece. Let me get a piece of white paper so you guys can see. Okay, so looks like sets of two that are kind of far apart that could be either one right let's try this one first see a set of two and a set of two right a set of two and a set of two but this also has that so maybe they're both the same now looks like they're both the same now 
I can go either way. Look, Babylon actually made it easy for us for once. Is that really true? So look, I just, I'll redo that. See, so a set of two and a set of two, right? Set of two and a set of two. So we're going to drop that down. Okay. Right? I'm just going to push in what I can, which is the first set of two. Okay. So I need to turn this around now. And then I need the table. Okay. So I'm going to angle out here so you guys can see. All right? So I got the first set of two in. Actually, I got all sets of in now. Both sets of two. All right? So now four are in. Okay? So I'm going to get number five hole in. Line up number six. I'm going to line up number seven, too, while I'm at it, just to get an angle at it. So line up number six in, push with your finger. See, it just popped right in. And I'm going to line up the last one on this side, and it goes right in. Okay? Just like that. All right? So now, now, I'm good to go in this side now, right? All this will just line right up and go straight down, right? So that's in already, okay? Now, I'm going to just like do this, but I'm going to leave it like that because I want the top, I'm going to go the top and then finish off over here, okay? So I'm going to take the top piece and then drop it there, okay? Just like that. You need it out though. You need it out. Don't try to line it up first. That's your biggest mistake if you're trying to line it up first with this in and down because you'll never if you were to do this if you were to do this first and if you got it in I don't know how but uh, it wouldn't work I don't you would be struggling so hard to get this in and to line everything up it has to be piecemealed coming around one way or the other way it can't be sides down and then all this will not line up right Okay, because you really need the grommets to actually stretch it out around the frame. Okay, so go back to this. Okay, so I'm in the holes of the grommet. All right, I'm just finger tensioning this in right now. So wherever I feel that there, see that's already in, right? I just fingered it into the, into the grommet. Right, I just kind of pushed it in, okay? So, so all I need to do is this now. So, we're going to go here down. Okay. So, I know that the two are going to go there and there. So, the three are going to go there, right? So, so, I just started pushing already as I lined it up, and it looks like I'm already going in there. So I'm going to set it on the table again. So number one is through here. I'm just going to press in. Number two, press in. All right? So just gently, gently line it up. Use your fingers, okay? Make sure it all lines up. Okay? Okay, so I line that up, I line that up. See, I'm just pushing it with my fingers to get into the hole, okay? So I'm gonna move that out of the way and I'm gonna just guide it in, guide it in, right? Like I'm using this thumb to actually just hold it down, but I'm actually using like the fingers to actually push down to hold it, okay? So now, like that was actually really easy to do this racket. This is probably my second one that I've done of this. Um, so the rest, I'm just going to push in with my finger like that. Like this one might be a little tricky. Let's see, like, because it's going to hold on the head guard, I'm just going to line it up. Line this up. Right? And then line this up. That's, that's the head guard right 
we don't need to I can change this, but I don't think you guys want to see me changing that. That's just too easy. All right. So look, every every grommet is sticking out, right? And that's done. See, I'll show you the sides. See, everything's lined up. Everything's lined up. Right. Right. I didn't even need to use a heat gun on this one, which is great because the last version, the fluorescent, uh, the fluorescent yellow version of this racket, I actually had to heat gun one of the sides down usually and, and warm up the, the head guard. But Babylon actually did something right this time and made it easy for us because these things are usually pretty hard. So you don't need to worry about a short side anymore. Um, the two pieces are actually the same. The two sides are actually the same. Um, and then the top drops down pretty easily. So this is actually one of the easier uh, grommet changes uh, that you're gonna be doing now. So, and you'll be changing this one a lot because I know this kid and this kid always um, has to change it out. So even though this is my second time with him, he actually went away to college, so, but he's back. All right, so that was how it was done. Surprisingly pretty easy. You have any questions, shoot it over to me. You have any comments, shoot it over to me. You have an easier way, let me know. All right, thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.